Did you know, if you're in the US, or literally anywhere in the world, there's actually free TV in the air that you can capture using something like a TV tuner, either for your PC or even your TV might have one, and using a outdoor antenna. So today, we're gonna set up this outdoor antenna and see how many free channels we can get in my area. Let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the antenna web website. We're gonna check this box here and type in our zip code. And this will let us know which channels are possible to get from our area. So once we click enter, it says I'll get up to 77 channels from 12 over the air stations. So up here is a legend. It tells you what size antenna you need based on the color. And as you can see, the reds require a medium directional. So these should be channels that I should be able to get with my antenna. And then the blue one here requires a preamp. So it might not get them unless we have a preamp. And then the violet one requires a large directional antenna. So I'm not gonna be able to get those channels most likely because ours is a pretty small antenna. And as you can see down here, our location, there's stations all around us. I'm probably gonna point towards the left here to get these channels that are in red and blue. But if we go to these channels, you can click here. You see it says that there's three total channels. So if you click here, it shows you which channels there are and the program. All right, so this antenna costs about 50 bucks. It comes with the mounting hardware and it's an antenna, you can see. And I just drop that. So assembly is not included, as you can see. There's instructions here. There's little masts. Mounting setup, bolts, wire ties, some more stuff, and then screws. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this first. Alright, so assembly is pretty simple. You just set this up like this. So to install this, you just stick these in here like this. And then put it like that. And we screw it in. So we're going to do this to all the rest. And we should have a full antenna soon here. Alright, so next we're going to drill into this wood. We're gonna do it over here as well. We're gonna go ahead and finally mount our antenna that we assembled right here. So the way we're gonna mount it is gonna be like this. Now in order to make it as stable as possible, we're gonna go back here like that. All right, so let's go ahead and drill this and then look for some channels. All right, so we're gonna use this app to basically look for where to point the signal so we're going to do that first all right so we have our antenna facing up there pretty high and if we look over here our signal is not that great and we're getting pixelation and stuff so what we're going to do is install this outdoor antenna amplifier which should hopefully fix these issues like this so here's the numbers right now and then we're gonna come back to this channel, channel after when the amplifier is installed and see how things go. All right, so as you can see, we have the short wire hooked up here and the big wire there. Just zip tied it up real quick. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how our signal has increased. All right, so as you can see, our signal is much better and we don't have any errors anymore. And if you look at the channel, it's not cutting out. There's no pixelation. So the numbers are definitely better than before. Now you do need to make sure you do a rescan whenever you do something like this. So as you can see, I'm getting 25 channels now. And the point here is that these channels should be a lot more stable than before. So I'm glad it worked out. All right, so we're gonna take it to the next level. So right now we have my computer running the TV tuner. However, we wanna do a server install where I can watch TV on any of my computers in the house from one computer. So we're gonna install Media Portal next. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install Media Portal 1.30. I'm using version one instead of two, just because it's personal preference. I do like one better. So here's the setup file, we're gonna click next, and we're gonna start the installation now. And then yes, I do want to watch live TV. We're gonna do advanced just to show you what the options are. So there is single seat installation, which is basically server and client. We're gonna do this one. There's dedicated TV server, which we don't watch TV on there. And then there's client only, which would be the other computers. So we're gonna click next. And then then needs a database, we're just gonna click next. And then again, here's database stuff, just click next. And then next, this is the theme. 
I personally like Titan, so I'm just going to use Titan. And then here it says to use lab filters. I recommend installing these. I'm not going to check this because I already have the latest version installed. And then we're going to click Submit to install. And we'll come back when it's done. All right, so it finished. So I'm just going to click Exit here. And then we have a bunch of icons on the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and click the TV server configuration. And then let's see. It's probably going to, yeah, there we go. So at the top here, we can click TV servers, and then here's the antenna, ATSC, terrestrial, scan, and we're just going to scan for channels here. It's going to take some time. All right, as you can see, the scan is done. So I'm just going to go ahead and go here and then go here. So we're going to map our channels to the second tuner because this does have two tuners. So if we go here, we're just going to highlight all these channels and move it over here. Click OK. So now we have both tuners with all the channels. So we're going to go ahead and open up Media Portal now. And then here, it's going to ask you which mode. I'm just going to click Continue. And it's probably going to bring up the configuration page again. Yeah, it's going to bring this up. Just click OK. Um, we're going to pause the relaunch the program one more time because we already configured it. And on the first launch, it asks us to configure it. So we'll go ahead and, go ahead and launch this again. And then here we go. I really like the way Meta Portal looks, especially 1.30's Titan theme. It looks really nice. So this is why I wanted to use this program instead of other programs. So here's how it looks. You can do more than just TV, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click TV Guides. And here are our channels. So it should populate after some time. Um, we might need a plugin since this is the older version of Meta Portal. But yeah, these are all the channels. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this one, just press enter. As you can see, the channel is loading and there we go. The channel is working. So now if you right click here, you can see a bunch of settings here. I'm just going to go ahead and click tuning details. And as you can see, you have level and quality and here are all your specs. And yeah, this channel is not doing too well. So anyways, that's Media Portal. Hope that helped. All right, there you have it. So as you can see, you can do the ATSC antenna with basically anything. You can do a TV for a basic installation. You can get the little digital tuner boxes if they still sell those. And obviously you can use a computer. Now you can take it one level even further by doing Plex and then using Plex's uh, live TV option to add the tuner. And then you can use your phone, watch it anywhere in the world and all that stuff. I actually went ahead and installed that already. I didn't really make a video on that. Sorry about that, but yeah, so anyways, next we're going to work on satellite FTA, so that'll be in a future video. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.